Good morning. So today is actually my last day of class, like my last first day of law school class ever. Um, it's the start of my spring semester and I just can't believe that I've like made it to this point to my last semester. I feel like I literally was just starting law school yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. I just like can't get over it. I have one class today, but it's not until 5 p.m. And I think I am starting my internship today. So I'm really excited for that. Like once later in the day, I'll talk more about like what I'm doing and stuff because even I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So I'd love to get my first assignment and then update you. I'm currently about to go pick up my friend Marcella and we're gonna go rejoin the gym here in Ithaca. It is so cold out. It is 12 degrees, feels like eight. I had to take Millie for her walk this morning and she was so unhappy with me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym now. So I'm just getting started on like figuring out my schedule for the semester. I've gotten a ton of emails today about scheduling. And so I want to sit and just like work through that this afternoon to like figure out my timing. And then I have to do my reading for my first class this afternoon, which is like a sm very small seminar. That's just like one credit about like Ithaca and like some of the laws here, which I think should be interesting. This is a faculty at home seminar. So it'll usually be, usually be held at a professor's home. This first class isn't, but I'm really excited because I've always wanted to take one of these classes. And so I'm finally taking them taking it in my last semester so i'm going to just get started on that this afternoon i feel like there's so much that i need to do with the start of the new semester and i just need to like power through all these little tasks like i keep remembering things and then like forgetting and so i just need to make my to-do list and get it all done so i'm going to start with figuring out what my schedule actually is and then emailing my internship to try and figure out a time to talk Okay, I just had like a very stressful 30 minutes for no reason. Like it did not need to be stressful. Basically, I just like wanted to confirm that my internship was starting and they didn't reach out to me. Granted, the company that I'm working on is on West Coast time. So it is a little early there, but I emailed them and they're like, yeah, we're gonna email you your first assignment this afternoon and we're gonna talk tomorrow. Like all is set. So it seems like it's happening, but I genuinely won't believe it's happening until I have my first assignment in my lab. But I was added to the Canvas page for the course, which I wasn't on yet. So it was, I was just like really stressed because I was like, if this eight credit internship isn't happening, like I need to be going to the other classes that I signed up for in case this didn't work, which I didn't do today. So yeah, I was just really like nervous and stressed about it. But alas, it seems everything has worked out. I'm gonna get some stuff this afternoon and I know the kind of like admin steps that I need to take to get enrolled. So now that I can breathe a sigh of relief, I am going to just do my reading for my one class today. I have to charge my iPad and I'm gonna try to download the reading on that. Also, they are drilling into my building right now, which is driving me a little crazy. I don't know if you can hear it. It's been on and off all day. I'm gonna do that, charge my iPad, take Millie for a walk while it's charging and then reading time. So this has been my favorite playlist at the moment, the Great British Breakfast Room one. It just like is a great way to start my day and obviously it's custom made for me, but I don't know, I've just been vibing to it. So I'm gonna put this on and do some cleaning, especially my front door has been getting so dirty, especially because I've been walking Millie and like it's so salty and snowy outside. Okay, I just finished my room. I unpacked everything finally, and I made myself some avocado toast, and I'm gonna eat this because it's 2.45. Um, but I wanted to show you these flowers. I feel like my bouquets have been getting better. You can contradict me if you want, but I really like this one, and yeah, I just made it all with stuff from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna eat this, then do my reading, finally. I've just managed to pull up my reading for this week. It's really not that long. It's like 18 pages and it doesn't seem too bad. So I'm going to actually go up to school and read this for a little bit. My friend Marcella is getting out of class at 3.40 and she's in this class as well with me. So I'm just gonna go up there and like read it with her and then go to class. I'm gonna head out in like five minutes. 
Okay, the lighting in my room right now is super weird because it is about to storm, so it's very blue. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but like in here, the lighting is a lot more normal, so I don't know what to make of that. Um, but I thought I would give a little outfit of the day before I head to class. So just in terms of jewelry, I have the gold hoops that I wear just like all the time. And then this necklace, which is from End Other Stories. Um, and then my sweater is from Uniqlo, except I always have to wear it with like a shirt under it. There we go. Oh my God, the lighting is so much better. I don't know what this is about, but I always have to wear this with a shirt under it because it's wool and I think it's scratchy. I got this off of Depop, so it doesn't really bother me because I didn't pay full price for it. Uh, my pants are from Abercrombie and then I just have my vejas on. Uh, I feel like my legs might be a little cold, but we're just gonna make it work. All right guys, here I am, last first day. <laughs> it looks bleak out. Okay, so say hi. We're doing our reading for our class. It's very heady. <laughs> the library's looking very cozy compared to outside. I have just gotten home from my one class of the day and I am actually super excited for this. The professor is so lovely, like just seems like such a good person. It's just going to be an interesting class. Like we're gonna be doing things out and about in Ithaca. He's arranged for us to talk to really interesting people. And it's just kind of like about the law of like, like it's kind of like environmental law, but as it relates to Ithaca. So we're talking about like, for example, like we're gonna do a raclette cheese tasting and then discuss like farm to table food laws, which I think is just really cool. And like the branding of raclette and how it's like government sanctioned in Europe. But anyways, I'm about to make dinner. My battery is almost dead. Uh, I'm just gonna make some salmon. I'm like super not in the mood to cook something fancy. And then I don't know what I'm doing this evening actually. Okay, I just have my dinner here. This is like my go-to when I am not in the mood to cook. This is just rice. And then I put a like brown sugar mustard glaze that I make really easy on the salmon. And then I just have some Brussels sprouts that I roasted. So I'm gonna eat this and read about the New Hampshire primaries, which are happening tomorrow. Okay, I did Millie's last walk of the day, and I've just been sitting on the couch doing a bunch of random things that I need to do. I like went over my budget, then on people I needed to, like I was looking at decorations for a birthday party that we're throwing, like doing other forms and stuff. It is like 8.15, I think I'm gonna change into my pajamas now and watch the latest episode of Love Island All-Stars because hopefully that has been uploaded by now. So I'm going to do that and I'll just sit on my laptop and like do other things while I watch. Okay, I am in bed. I have gotten already, but I didn't actually end up watching Love Island. I started Fool Me Once, which is on Netflix and it's like a limited series, British psychological thriller, like crime drama about like murder. And it was so good. Like the first episode really had me hooked and I'm really into those. And I was gonna read my book before bed. I'm currently reading Prophet Song, which is like a beautiful book, but it is also kind of like scary. And I thought that would be too much scary stuff before bed. It's not scary. It's just like dystopian, kind of similar to Handmaid's Tale. So I didn't want to read like and watch two scary things before bed. So I, I, I'm i just gonna like be on my phone, which I know is so bad, but I need something light because it was like a really intense show for an hour. So yeah, I'm just here with Millie. We're hanging out and I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.